So, it seems like everything is in order. All that is left is your signature. Thank you. Here you go. Okay. Sign here. Hold on, sir. You mean you want me to do the pitch next week? I, I understand, sir. I do. Thank you. All right, sir. Yes! Yes! Woo! What happened? Babe, guess who is making the pitch at the office next week? You? Yes. Oh, Me. that's wonderful. Yes. Congrats. Oh, thank you. <laughs> mm. Wait, wait, wait. Is this a reward? This, my darling, is love. Oh, please. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 stop, stop, stop. Not now, babes. Why? Momsy wants to see us. Ugh. <laughs> Mood killer. What, is, what does she want? <laughs> Don't worry. Mm. I'm sure it has to do with the wedding. The wedding. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, quick one. Mm -hmm. Which do you prefer? A small wedding or a big one? Whichever one you prefer, my love. That's sweet. So, pick one. Okay. Uh, a small wedding? Uh, what about you? Big! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> look, honey. Whatever wedding it is, as long as I'm getting to spend the rest of my life with you, fine with you. <laughs> yeah, hold, right? but Excuse me, I have to take this. Don't leave me. trying to take over the wedding because me I want to owe one bear with reckless abandon. Hey <laughs> hey but that doesn't mean I don't get to flirt with like one or two handsome men. <laughs> it's my right as your chief bridesmaid. <laughs> so are you still thinking of uh, this big wedding thing? Sorry, Ma. Uh, good afternoon, Ma. Where's my daughter? She stepped outside, Ma. Get me Yola. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Ma. Mm. 
my darling, you only have three options. So it's either you borrow money and live your dream, or so how do I pay back? <laughs> oh, please. Not everyone wants to be Miss Independent like you. <laughs> really? From who? Whoa. That's a big one. So, what do I do? Madam is looking for you. Okay, I'm coming. Alright. I'm um, Halima. Let me call you back, okay? So, ha. Okay. Thank you. How are you? Fine. Who were you talking to? Oh, Halima. Oh, hi, she. She's fine. She says hi. Yes, I called both of you. To talk about your wedding. I've not heard anything about it. How are you guys planning? Um, <clears throat> well, I know I've always wanted a big wedding, but I have to come to terms with reality. We can't afford a big wedding now, so we are settling for something small, simple, yet romantic. A few friends and family. <laughs> 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 Mom, what is it? How do I told you I saved up for it? For my wedding? Mm? How much? Ten million. Ten million naira. Mom, you saved ten million naira for my wedding. Thank you, thank you. Mom. <laughs> <laughs> did you hear that? I did, I did. Wait, <laughs> ten million naira only gives you a memorable wedding, not a big one. So what's the catch? We go to the bank, take a loan, and make it up. I'm, I'm sorry, what? When your father was alive, we used to sit and dine with the elites in town. It was not always about expensive champagne and dinner, no. It was necessary to stay relevant. That is how we survived for a long time. Your father will always say, A strong network is a bedrock of sustained growth. But his scandal and recklessness spoiled everything for us, especially our name. This is the chance we have to fix it. How? Where are we supposed to get the money? It's not like we can just walk into the bank and ask for a loan for a wedding. You don't have anything to worry about. Mom, what are you up to? Chips, what do you think? Well, I mean, it's no secret that sometimes people obtain loans for fraudulent reasons. But in this case, uh, for a high-profile wedding, it can help change the narrative and, you know, the public's perspective. But big weddings also come with their own challenges scrutiny from the media, social media. And if a, if a memorable wedding costs 10 million naira, how, how much would a high profile wedding cost? Um, going by today's weight and strength, I would say 20 to 50 million minimum. Min, min, wow, wow. That is a lot of money. How, how, how do you propose we pay back? Well, the last hotel, my real estate guy told me if I renovate the hotel, I can sell it for 80 million. Okay, so how much will the renovating it cost? About 10 to 15 million. Then, how much will everything be? That's like 70 to 80 million naira, which begs the question, where do we get collateral from? I'll use this house. No, Mom. You love this house. Yes. Let me tell you something. 
something. It's not just about both of you getting married. It's about the future. The survival of this family. That's why no one must know about it. get back to you on this. We have to go now. Take care of yourself. understand what she's trying to do uh, and uh, considering the country we live in but you're worried yes about about the loan about you know the media and what they will say and how they rehash the scandal over and over again how all of that will affect us I'm worried so what are you suggesting that we take some time and think about this. Okay. Uh, please, you drop me at Halima's gallery. Oh, sure. Tell me to very gorgeous girl. Fine, man. Makes sense. Hmm? James, how far you now? Uh -uh. Since I got here, you've been acting weird. I know what's wrong with you. I've been at the wedding, they worry you. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of wedding, how are the preparations and everything coming? Oh, good, good. Very good. Very good? Very good. Then what's wrong with you now? Nothing. I'll just. I was just thinking about Mom C and, you know, do you think she would approve of Ola? Yes, nah, uh, uh, come on. Mom C would have approved well. She would have even organized everything by herself. Yeah. It's just that it's hard to believe, man, that this is going to happen, you know, considering how it all started. The guy, guy the matter. Uh, no, 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 no. See, don't get it twisted, though. I like Ola very well. Like, she's cool, no problems with her at all, but... Yeah. Are you sure you really want to do this? Bro, I said make you die this matter. Die this matter. Sorry. No, Thank you. No more, no more. That chick fan shower. Mm. Tell you. Makes mm. sense. Mmm. Hey. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Where did you come? Um, I've been here for about an hour. James told me you went out. How are you? Fine, thank you. So the wedding preparations, how are they coming up? Mm, good, for the most part. Okay. So, what are you guys planning for the bachelor's party? Ah, no. Me, I'm, I've been sworn to secrecy on this one. I cannot tell you anything. Ask your husband, he'll tell you what you want to know. I, mean, I don't know what you guys are talking about, though. Ouch! <laughs> He's the best man, you should ask him. Okay, 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 okay. Fine. I'll only give you a hint. Okay. okay. I can assure you that there will be plenty of booze and there will be plenty of meat. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
I hope meat means chicken and soup. <coughs> yes, darling. Mm -hmm. It actually means chicken and soup. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, okay, um, mm -hmm. this is the part where I escape before I get thrown to this uh, meat conspiracy. <laughs> Dollar dollar girl. Get back to painting, eh? What is it? The chief was killed last night by a jealous lover who caught his girlfriend sleeping with your husband in a hotel. We are still looking for him, but for now we have no leads. What is it? I was celebrating, babe. Uh, let's go out tonight. Mm? What are we celebrating? I may be getting a promotion. So, wherever oh. it is you want to go. Okay. Uh, congratulations. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, I'll decide when I come back. Wait. Where, where, where are you even going, Seth? Looking so hot and stuff, you know? Ooh. Yes. <laughs> I want to go and see Monsi. Then from there, I'll drop by and see Alima before coming back. Oh. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Don't miss me too much. I'll come back soon. Hola. Why haven't you sent me the specification and the price list? Yeah. No, 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 please send it. I don't have time. Yes. Send it right away. Thank you. Hola. Mom. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Help yourself. Thank you, I'm good. You said you wanted to see me. Yes. I have hired contractor for the hotel and wedding planner. They are very expensive, but highly recommended. They will get in touch with you once I've made some down payment. Wow. That was fast. I have also called the bank. We're having a meeting with them next week. Hola. Listen, I understand the danger in this plan, but you have to look at the bigger picture. One envelope from a guest will pay the loan. Plus, if we sell the hotel, we don't have anything to worry about. Either way, you and your family can live comfortable. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yes, I understand. You and James have work to do. What work? You visit the guest to add personal touch to your invitation. Plus, I won't be signing the loan. Then who will? Why? The wedding planners will get in touch with you. Everything is worked out. Get a glass. Let's just to the wedding. I'm fine. <laughs> you 
You don't have anything to worry about, Ola. <laughs> Tomorrow again, I'm, I'm out. Yeah. Telling you, man. So, the guy, 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 you know, I just didn't visit this thing since. Wait, too. Guy, we are about to live the whole single life and enter married life just like that. No, sir, we're free that one, <laughs> Free the one, sir. Hey, yeah. James, no, James, but it's all good. I mean, that's life now. You have to move from one mm -hmm. level to the next level, yeah? Mm. Yeah. Okay, yep, 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 yep. Full time. Arsenal 2, Liverpool nil. Check, 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 check. Come on. Yes, I have won the bet. It's time for you to pay me my money. <laughs> for real? Yes, for real. Don't joke with the gunners, though, this guy. <laughs> so, that's what you do now. You want to collect money from a guy when you know that I'm making my money right now. Oh, God, I don't care. A bet is a bet. Whether you're looking for money or not, I don't care. Mm. You bet. Pay your money. Don't tell me stories. Pay, 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 pay. My money, I beg, I beg, I beg. No time, no time, no time, no time, no time, no time. Pay, pay, pay. Give me my money. Give me my money. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. It was complete, though. It was complete, don't worry. Count up, count up. Count up. Next time, be sure of your team before you bet. Complete? Big. Give me, no give sense. me my money. Let me make sure it's complete. No sense. Okay, okay. <laughs> it was a nice doing business with you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. Mm. So, guy, um, when is the deadline for the client hunt? After the honeymoon. Okay. And um, is your wife aware? Not yet. I think you should tell her. I mean, I would like to, but she's been so excited about this whole wedding that, you know, I don't, I don't want to let her down or disappoint her or anything. It's just... Uh, I don't understand anything you just said right now, but what are your alternatives? Do you want to keep it a secret? Hey, honey. I'm all right. Yeah, I'm with Ladi. We just, you know, we're just hanging. All right, all right, all right, no problem. See you soon. Okay. Yeah, yeah but James, see, um, mm -hmm. my advice is keep all the lies until after the marriage. Thank you, Doctor. <laughs> all right, all right. All right, let's go. Now you know.
What's in your mind? When the scandal broke, I watched many of my friends disappear. The people I grew up with stopped inviting me for weddings and birthday parties. It was like I just stopped existing. And Momsi, Momsi grew cold and distant. We even stopped talking for a bit. I can only imagine what that must have felt like. It was horrible. I didn't handle it well. Mm. Anyway, Momsi has an assignment for us. Okay. What assignment? We are to visit some important people for the wedding. Well, that's a good idea. <sighs> I had given up on having a big wedding. Planning one now just feels... Exhilarating. <laughs> kind of like how I feel getting married to you. <laughs> <laughs> so what about you? How do you feel about everything? I mean, the scrutiny and the media attention, like you talked about. Well, you know I came from nothing. And so the idea of rich and powerful of the society coming to honor me and my wife at our wedding is uh, <laughs> it's a wonderful feeling. However, I also know that we'll be talking about something else in another day or two, so... Well, I don't think I'll be having a bachelorette party anymore. Yeah, I don't think I'll be having a chicken and suya party anymore either. <laughs> <laughs> mm. um, great, because Momsi won't be signing for the loan. You will. What? Pleasure doing business in the Quay family. Thank you very much. <laughs> pleasure, pleasure. Thank you. Pleasure. Do you have a lovely day, Mom? Yes. Do you have a lovely day? Yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you, sorry.
Jesus. Oh, <laughs> yeah. And now, <laughs> so tell me, tell me, how is uh, life in the limelight? Tell me. See, my social media has exploded. So it appears <laughs> to me that I have a future, you know, as an influencer or something, you know? I listen to anything I say. Yes, yes, yes. I, I, I heard you, I heard you. Yes, I'll try to update something. Sorry, don't mind me. Mm. Okay. Oh, yeah, now. So um, how is the hunt going now? Bro, none of the people that we met were viable candidates, so... Yeah, it was always a long shot. Yeah, thank you for your astute observation. <laughs> eh, I have to think that this whole thing began because she has money. <laughs> if only she has any old... Hmm. God, God damn. So, Wito, how are you guys going to be able to pay for this lavish wedding? Yeah, well, Mumsy is doing it. Mm. What's wrong? <laughs> Actually, I was just, you know, just thinking. Remember when you asked me if I was ready for this, if I was sure about this, and I told you I was? These days, these days I'm not so sure anymore. So, um, did you see the new mail from Mopsy? No. Yeah. Um, there's a new um, name on the list. Oh. Some chief Samuels. Maybe we should go see him tomorrow. What? Nothing. Okay. Oh yeah, I was going to ask you, um, how, how do you deal with bullying online? Oh, that. I don't look at it. <laughs> yeah. Why? Well, it's kind of crazy that people think that they are entitled to an opinion in my life when they don't know the first thing about me. Don't let it bother you. I'm trying. I'm trying. It's hard. Okay. Why don't you just focus on something else then? Okay. What are you doing? No, I don't, I don't mean that. Oh, okay. <laughs> focus on something else. Uh, Chief Samuels then. What, what do you know about him? Nothing. 
Why? Oh, to be great to score a new client out of all of this drama. Um, you know what? I'm, I'm tired. Mm. I'm not comfortable having this conversation. I want to sleep. Okay. Oh. What? Mm. Babes, babes. Mm. Mm. I'm not in the mood. Really? Mm hmm Okay, so maybe we can pick this up um another night. What? The sex or the conversation? Both. <laughs> sure. Good night.
Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen. I'm so sorry to obstruct whatever you are doing at the moment, but please, can I just have five minutes of your time? Can I? Yes. All right, thank you so much. Um, all right, all right, all right. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, you're welcome to this amazing wedding ceremony between James and Ola. <laughs> All right, you know, my father used to tell me, he said in life, a man has to find love or purpose. Can I argue with him that nah, that life is way beyond all that, it's way more complex than all that, and we'll go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and we'll never reach a compromise. But today, St. James and all that, it all makes sense to me. Love and purpose. These two very important elements. So strong. But so strong that it's worth fighting for. James and Ola have found love. If their purpose so big that they would be forever. Yeah. Yes, so James and Ola, your bond will live forever. Can I get an amen? amen. Can I get an amen? amen. Cheers to that. <laughs> Let's eat, let's drink, and let's celebrate this amazing couple today. All right.
Is the convenient here? Yeah. It's it's that way, sir. Okay, thank you. Uh, hello, sir. My name is um, James. I, I'm the groom, sir. I know, I know, I know, I know. You have a beautiful wife. Thank you very much, sir. Yes. Um, you. My name is um, Chief Samuel. I am an old friend of the family. Oh, okay. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Sir. Thank you. And um, I hear you are into public relations. Oh yes, sir. That is correct, sir. Oh, oh, oh. Um, well, um, I'm thinking we could do business. Hmm? Just put a call across to me sometime. Oh. Let me give you my card. Here, this is my card. Hmm? All right, sir. Please. Don't fail. Of course, sir. Okay. Well, take care of yourself. Yeah. I'm 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, this is for you. <laughs> thank you, thanks for the compliments, you know. Um, that is just me. I love to use public play a lot. It's just me. OK, 
Okay, so let's do this, yeah? Can I please inspire you to go out with me? <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Ola told me this. This is the response she told me I'll get, so I'm not surprised. All right, let's strike a deal. If you go out with me this once, I will never ever disturb you. Yay! <laughs> it's a wonderful day. So um, it's not about us today. So let's um, let's cheers to the bride and the groom. Yes, <laughs> to the bride and the groom. <laughs> Separate the dollar from the naira, please. Don't put it together. So, see so what we have, please. Will this make up a bundle? Hello? It won't be enough. I had enough for one night. What is it? Babe. What is it? Are you being serious? Is this what is bothering you? Answer me! Well, in case you haven't noticed, the number of people we invited for the wedding didn't show up. Also, we have a huge debt to repay! And you're going to let that bother you tonight? <laughs> well, if it isn't bothering you, I am the one being called a, a, a gold digger. Okay? Also, I, I inherited a, a huge debt for, for a pointless wedding. Pointless. Yes. 
Yes, that is not what I meant, okay? If the wedding is pointless, then why did you marry me? Do you think I enjoy how things happened? The death or the nasty comments on social media, do you think I enjoy it? You're going to just, just stand there with your wounded ego determined to ruin our wedding night, James. None. How hurtful these things can be, okay? The way they can make a person feel. Oh, please. Grow up for heaven's sake. People get dragged on social media every day. <laughs> wow. Wow. But that's why it's sensitive of you, considering the fact that people actually commit suicide based off comments that they read on social media. I'm sorry for that. I really am. But need I remind you that I too have been a victim for five years. Five good years I suffered for my father's sins. But my mother was called an old hag for not being able to keep her husband. Someone even went as far as sending me a message advising me to use Kayamata so I don't end up like my mother. And you stand there to tell me that I don't get it. Fine. Look, I'm, I'm sorry. Okay? I'm sorry. If the wedding was so pointless, then I think you should. On our wedding night, Ola. You should have thought about it. You really don't mean that. I actually mean it. James, please leave. <laughs> leave, please. Seriously. Can I spend the night in your house? I uh, don't think this is that kind of night. But hey, what happened? This is your wedding night now, bro. We had an argument. Okay? You had an argument. Okay? Seriously. <laughs> You're going to have to give me something much stronger than this. Well, that's all I have. And what is this argument you say you had? I, I, I don't want to talk about it. Okay? Last I checked, you were the one that strode into my house on your wedding night. You say don't talk about it, I don't understand. Fine. We, um... We took a loan to finance our wedding. What? Hey, hey, bro. Take it easy now. Come on. I talk about this. How much? It's a lot. It's a lot of money. And as I speak with you, I have no idea how to pay back. This is quite ironic, isn't it? How so? I mean... You're with her because of money, and now you guys are in debt. How many times I could tell you, you make you know, the, say this kind of thing again? How many times I have to tell you sorry, to die sorry, this matter? Sorry, 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 my bad. Sorry, I'm sorry, I should not have brought this up. I'm sorry. Apologies, please. 
Okay. Um, what do you want to do right now? What do you intend to do? To be honest, I have absolutely no idea. What matters to you the most right now? Allah. Good. Then go and make it right with her. Wait, are you trying to get rid of me? No, I'm not trying to get rid of you. Okay. So you have meat upstairs now. That's why I'm trying to get rid of you. Hey, 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 hey hello. She's not meat. She's a lady. And yes, I want to get rid of you now. Go. Go home. Go and sort this thing out with your, with your, with your wife. Uh -uh. I just gave a very wonderful speech about how inspiring your love is. And everyone was clapping. Everyone was happy. At least let the speech age small now. Uh -uh. Just walking here. Then, then. Go. Go. In fact, go. Yes. I'm getting rid of you. I'll go. I'll go. 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 Yes, go. Go and sort things out with your wife. Look at this man. Thank you for nothing. You are welcome for nothing. Uh-uh. You just smile, no, 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 no. You don't come to my house. Okay, go, 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 go to your house. Go and sort out. And you must call me tomorrow to tell me how things went. Look at this man. Ah, ah. No, 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 no. Ah. Was that James? Yes, that was James. Any trouble in paradise? Uh, well, so it seems. But don't worry, they'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, that's the business. Right now, I have inspirations to do. Sure. Yes. <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> There's a... What happened? We had an argument. About what? The loan. The attention got to him. What did he say? Oh, he, he called our wedding pointless. <laughs> <laughs> that is it. Excuse me. Please don't misunderstand me. I'm not trying to invalidate your feelings. But you shouldn't be here. You should be at home. I'm sure your husband is waiting for you. I don't want to see him. Will you ever forgive him for this? If yes, go home to your husband. If no, I will ask them to arrange the guest room for you. Have you forgiven Dad? No. Not because he cheated. Your father was having an affair long before we got married. He saw the family name. And that for me is unforgivable. Go back to your husband. Want you more and more I keep hoping That someday you come Life isn't complete Without you So many reasons I want you uh, If 
if we ever come back to this world again, I swear I'll choose you, I'll choose you more and more. I still. No matter what they say, I still hold you close to me. I still hold you close to me. No matter what they do, no matter what they say, I still hold you close to me. I still hold you close to me. We have not been able to find him. His address is fake, but right now the police are questioning his family and friends. My little concern is we might not find him on time. Are you saying the contractor ran away with my money? That I'm gonna lose my house? Is that what you're saying? Regrettably, ma'am. But, Ma, if you may allow me to begin work with the plan B. Are you here with the document? Yes. This is it. Have you found her? Yes, I have. And as a matter of fact, I have a meeting with her tomorrow morning. But are you sure you really want to do this? There could be blowbacks. You may not have a choice. Very well then. Oh. Oh, no, man. How are you? I am. Please see me. Thank you. Ah, uh, Jeff, this is Oh, no, man. Oh, no, man. That's Jeff. Thanks, Mr. Jeff. It's Thank from you. the bank. Okay. So tell me, Oh, no, man. What's left of the loan today? We recovered 50 million naira from the wedding. That includes money from the dance floor and the one given in envelopes. Mm. 15. I have a check of three million. That brings you to 18 million euro. Your loan balance is 12 million euro only. Mm. Only. <laughs> it's not a bad one. Mm -hmm. So what's the deadline? As per our agreement, less than six months more. We still have time. Yes, we do. All the same, thanks for calling. Thank you, ma. Thank you. I will be on my way. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, you know me? Thank you very much. Yes. Okay. Have a nice day. Okay, mom. Hello? Hola. Where are you? I need to see you now. Yeah. Yes, come over. Just come, I need... in your mother's brain that you need operations if we want to save a life. Okay, what's keeping us? You will have to deposit the sum of 25 million naira for us to start treatment as soon as possible. Treatment as soon as possible. 
lot of money. Since then, no other way. I'm sorry, but there isn't. From the look of God, the tumor has been drawn in for some time now. We will get the money. Alright, madam. How do we raise the money? Hmm? We sell the hotel. The contractor made away with the advance payment. So there's no point uh, trying to renovate it. Uh, damn it. I'll call the lawyer to initiate sale. Uh, hold on. You can't do that. <laughs> what about the loan? The loan? Yes, the loan. Are you seriously thinking about the loan right now? Yes! Uh, clearly, somebody has to. I mean, <laughs> that is why we're going to have to return. I'm upset. Isn't the, of your family's reputation the reason why we took the loan in the first place? James! Do you want my mother to die? <sighs> of course not. Of course not. The lawyer called. He said he found a buyer for the hotel. Okay. And uh, how much? 20 million. Wait, just 20? Yes. It's okay. It's fine. We'll be all right. We'll get through this. How? We still don't have enough for the surgery. And we have the loan to worry about. Well, we can sell the car and raise maybe two, three million from it. That still won't be enough. All this because I wanted a big wedding I didn't deserve. Now mom's life is at risk. And now
James, so how far now? Good, man, bro. See. Uh, I need to sell my car. Can you hook me up with your buyer? For the surgery, yeah? Yes. How much? See, five million. Five million? Whoa. Um, okay. I'll see what I can do. But, bro, I don't think selling your car is a good idea. Seriously, you want Ola's mother to die? I'm not saying that. Look, I'm just saying it should look beyond now. See, you have an ultimatum and a loan hanging over your shoulders. Bro, you need a lifeline here. See, why not secure your job so that when the dark days come, you can still have something to fall back on? It doesn't get darker than this, Nadi. Eh, you think so? Okay. Try hustling for clients in Lagos without a car. Then you understand where I'm coming from. No, try it now. It's <laughs> mine. What's that? Some man that I met at the wedding. Uh, it says he's an old friend of the family's, but I, I get the feeling that Ola doesn't like him. Why? I think they had it falling out in the past. Dude, that one does not concern you right now. Call him. <sighs> Follow up now, James, and you get to live another day. Come on. I hear you. But what do I tell Ola about the car? Just tell her I'm on it. Yeah. I need to take her to the hospital, though. Yeah, I know. I know. No worry, man. Everything will be fine. Don't worry. Thanks, bro. Okay, buy me beer. No, they didn't me everything. Okay. I'm going to tell you, bring beer for this man before you go beat me. Yes. Hello, good day. Please, can I speak with uh, Chief Samuels? I need a favor. We want to sell the car. Do you have any buyer? Why? To complete the money for your surgery. How did you raise the money? We sold the hotel. Oh! Lie down. The doctor said you should rest.
His name is Femi. He's the one I sold your father's flicks to after he died. Do you have the papers with you? Yes, they're in the car. I love you, Ola. You were dying and you kept it from me. I'm truly sorry. You and James already have a lot on your plate. I don't want you to be worried. But here we are. The doctor said we can take you home tonight. I'll bring you back for the surgery. I'm sorry. of becoming an artist too because <laughs> you know go blow. Nah la I don't like the feel out you know feel out you feel my voice and taste you know you know you know <laughs> anyway what are we having we're having rice and sauce <laughs> that's the extent of my cooking abilities <laughs> okay yes sir. but if you know sweet I know good job. ah see 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 let me just tell you now it is James mm. that taught me how to cook this rice and sauce. Uh -huh. So let this one also be a, a test to his teaching abilities. Uh -huh. Right. <laughs> Speaking of James, how is he? Uh, considering the loan, ultimatum from work, he'll be fine. Ultimatum? What ultimatum? Uh, sorry, pretend um, I, I didn't say that. I didn't mean it like that. So what do you mean? Hmm? What do you mean? Oh, hey, baby. I didn't hear you driving. Guess what? Wait, you sold the car? Yes, I sold the car. Oh. And I also paid for mom's um, surgery. It's been scheduled for next week. Oh, that, that's great. Yeah, that's great. Is everything okay? Yes. I just wish that, you know, You'd have told me. But I thought we discussed it already. We did. It's only... I have a meeting on the mainland tomorrow. What meeting? A new client. You didn't tell me. Honey... It's okay. I'll take a taxi, okay? Okay. I'm very tired. I need to go and rest. Of course. I'll see you later.
James. Sir. How are you? I'm well, thank you, sir. Sit down. I apologize for coming late, sir. Uh, I underestimated the traffic. It's okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how is your wife? She's fine, thank you, sir. So, sir, if you... Uh... Sir, if you take a look at the brief, you would see that uh, my approach for your company is very direct. I want the people to you know, connect with your company. And I want your company to connect with the people. Did she tell you we had an affair? Did she tell you she did my marriage? See, James, I don't want your wife's party to come between me and you. I just, I just want to have a good business relationship. That's all. I spoke with your boss. And he told me the costly mistakes you made and the consequences. He also told me that you have potentials and that you can do the job. So, how did you... <laughs> Don't worry. I have close friends with your boss. What do you want from me, sir? Nothing. I just want you to work with me. I don't want us to be enemies. No. And <clears throat> I would want you to go home. Ponder about what I have proposed. And if it's okay by you, come back. Come back and have my signature. like everything is falling apart. Uh, Halima, mm -hmm. did I make a mistake with this marriage? What? I mean, ever since the wedding, things have been different, almost chaotic. Could you believe that we fought on our wedding night, Halima? Our wedding night. Um, honestly, you made a mistake, and that is telling him the truth. Trust me, I wanted to, but I just couldn't find the words. What have I done? It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Not to add fuel to fire, though. Did he tell you anything about Ultimatum at his office? Ultimatum? Hello? 
What do you want? Please leave me alone. Goodbye. Thank you. Now listen to me. The next time you try to come between me and my marriage again, I swear to you with everything I hold there, I will make sure you regret it. <laughs> Hello, young girl. I have in my hands the power, the audacity to view your family reputation and your husband's career. Do you understand me? I want you to make a choice. I know about the loan and the ultimatum Given to your husband. <laughs> See. Come. Come closer. What do you want? I want you to make a choice. I want you to make a choice between your family reputation and your husband's career. On one hand, your husband needs a big client to save his career. And that I can offer. Yes. On the other hand, one phone call. Just one phone call for me. And everything about the world goes for me. All you have worked for this past month will be real, useless. And I'm sure you know that your mother's health would not be able to withstand another public embarrassment. It's up to you. James. Good evening, sir. Yeah, good evening. Sit down. Sir. Yeah. I need those documents. My family needs them, especially now. <laughs> I I'm sorry. Your wife took that option off the table. What? Yeah. She has to choose between you and her family reputation that was built on false pretenses. And she chose the letter. What? James. See. I want to ask you one pertinent question. Would you want to spend the whole of your life with someone who does not have your back? Someone that only thinks about herself, herself only. Have you associate with that family? No. Not sir, she's my wife. Get the divorce.
get a divorce and save yourself from all this mess, all this financial embarrassment. James found out about Chief. What happened? Cheryl, shouldn't you be at the hospital? Not when I have an irritant to deal with. My daughter told me you were up with your silly games. Your daughter ruined my marriage. She doesn't deserve any atom of happiness. Point of correction. You ruined your marriage. When you had an affair with a girl young enough to be your daughter. Does it really matter? Oh yes it does. Listen, if you are here to beg for her, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, I cannot help you. Come, 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 Sharon. Come, come. Sit down. Sit down. We can talk it over. There's nothing to talk over with you. Call my daughter and apologize. One more thing. My son is about to lose his job. And I know you have the influence to save his job. So James, you are going to accept this offer, for real? When you know that this guy just wants to split your marriage? I don't know, man. But considering what she did, shouldn't I be looking out for myself? No. Not when you are married. And for someone that is not blameless. Guy, don't you think you are casting a very big stone? How? How, how so? How? James, I don't like to say this all the time. But I'll say it. You and I know, James, that you went for this girl because of her family's money. But I stayed. I stayed even when they lost all the goddamn money. I stayed. Eh, hey, but the affair happened before you guys started dating. So why exactly are you mad? Because she lied to me. Straight to my face. On our wedding day when I asked her about the man. It's the same thing I'm saying, James. You are a sinner that is casting stones. You also kept things from her, didn't you? On the night of your wedding, when you came to my house, I asked you the same question. I asked you that, James, what is most important to you right now? Then go and make things right with her. Why are you here? 
here because I love you. I'm here because you shouldn't be alone. And I'm sorry for ever making you feel that way. I'm so sorry, James. I wanted to tell you. I really wanted to tell you, but I couldn't. I was afraid. I was afraid that the way you look at me would change. James, you're the best thing that happened to me. And I don't want to lose you. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. I'm tired of crying. Can we, can we just move past this? Can you just forgive me, please? I need to tell you something first. Okay. When I first met you, when we eventually got married, I was, I, I was, I was after the money. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I thought that you were my ticket to a good life. And in, in, in certain ways, I was right. your love, your generosity, your heart. That was what I needed in my life. I love you, babe. For better, for worse, I do and I always will. that I come up with a plan B in case the wedding candidate fails. So I did an evaluation of all the family assets, including this house, the family mansion, and of course the house in the UK. We, we have a house in the UK. Oh, yes, actually. It was gifted to your mother by your father. And now she agreed it to you and James. Right, so what about the plan B? It's simple. Sell one asset, settle the loan, and set up your family. Okay. Okay, so which asset will we be selling? Um, I think we should sell this house. Really? Why? Well, I would like to raise our kids in the house I was born in. And think of what we could do with the space for our jobs. And the kids. I will need the closure. But that's if it's okay by you. Of course. It's fine. Very well then. If that's what you two want, I already have three buyers lined up for it. And we can make the UK house our vacation home. Alternatively, we can uh, live there as a family if we decide to relocate. All right, Mr. and Mrs. Eddie Yang. Good evening. I will have to take my leave now. Right. Thank you. Thank you. When the light turns on, it's you. Put a smile on me. I got you. I got you. Every day is all about you. Seems like most history. Everything. It's all about you. You bet she is. 
got you And you know I can never do without you I can never do without you